Welcome to BizJet TV. My name is Fabrizio Poli. I'm your aviation advisor, and today we're going to be talking about hydrogen powered aircraft, a little bit about the electric aircraft, and also another power source which seems to be out there. Um, so we'll be touching on that subject as well. If this is your first time on BizJet TV, this channel is all about private aviation and other things that fly. We like to cover you know, other technologies and that. That's what we're talking about today. We're talking about these technologies of the future, which will have an impact on private aviation. Um, and of course, you know, private aviation is something more and more people are looking into these days because the coronavirus has made people aware that you know flying is necessary, meeting face to face is necessary, but um, people are not that convinced about getting on an airplane with other 250 people. So if you do have the money to fly private, um, why not fly private? More and more people are looking into that these days. And you know, if you don't, maybe your competitor will and they'll win the business. But anyway, the purpose of this channel is to educate you that the private jet is a business tool. If you haven't subscribed to BizJet TV, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel and give us a thumbs up and comment below. We'd love to hear from you. So let's get straight into hydrogen aircraft and see what we have coming for the future. Off we go. We've just seen recently Airbus announced their whole project of developing these hydrogen powered airliners. So this is very interesting. They've got this uh, blended wing uh, airplane that uh, will carry 200 passengers over 2000 nautical mile range, which is very interesting. Uh, the um, interesting factor about hydrogen is it weighs one third the weight of jet fuel and uh, the volume is four times more. Um, so this is why you see this this blended uh, wing technology here. Uh, but they're also looking at, you know, using other versions with, you know, hydrogen cells in order to power the aircraft. So this is a project that uh, Airbus is currently working on. I think it, we're, we're going to see this come to fruition. Uh, they have said that these airplanes could be flying as soon as 2035. But uh, while uh, this announcement announcement has been going on, there's another company over in the UK, Zero Avia, who've actually flown a Piper M350 powered by hydrogen. This just happened the other day. It went up, it flew around a circuit, as you can see, and landed. This is an aircraft that uh, is a six-seater. Um, they're planning on you know, developing this further uh, in the next few months and actually flying um, a 250 nautical mile flight, which is like flying from LA to San Francisco. Um, and this flight will be conducted by the end of, of 2020. Um, so this is a, an existing aircraft that has been modified. So this opens up a whole new series of things which um, uh, would open up you know, modifications on aircraft to be able to be powered by hydrogen. Uh, so this is very, very interesting. Of course, if we look at the direct emissions for global aviation, uh, that accounts for about 2% of total greenhouse gases. Uh, switching to, uh, from jet fuel to liquid hydrogen, for example, will require fewer design changes. Uh, and uh, hydrogen planes reduce air pollution as well as reducing noise. So these are some interesting facts. Um, Airbus uh, are saying that, you know, electric is also another thing they're working on. Uh, they reckon, you know, electric airplanes will be used for shorter distances. Um, hence the whole electrical vertical takeoff and landing uh, powered by electricity. But, you know, a lot of this will depend on the technology uh, that's being developed right now regarding uh, electric batteries, um, you know, increasing the range. We know that Tesla are working on a number of things. Um, the Tesla Model X now has a range of just over 300 uh, miles um, and I'm sure, you know, Mr. Musk is working on uh, making that range to maybe five, six hundred. And so no doubt in the next couple of years, we will see uh, an increase for the, the electric batteries. But, you know, a combination of, you know, hydrogen and, and electric um, could be the way to go. So we're definitely seeing, uh, you know, a moving away from uh, jet fuel, kerosene as it's called, uh, into you know electric powered aircraft for short distance and hydrogen powered for longer distance um, and this of course is going to be you know environmental friendly less pollution less noise um, and that's really going to benefit there's also other technology that's been developed um, which is anti-gravity technology if you haven't seen the video on the tr3b uh, you can have a look at that one that's very interesting it's been getting a lot of hits um, uh, lots of people been commenting that they have actually seen this flying machine uh, whether or not this anti-gravity technology has already been developed, I don't know. I haven't seen the TR3B myself, but it's certainly an interesting concept. The patent has been published on Google, which you can have a look at it. So this is the future. You've got, you've got electric, you've got hydrogen, and you've got the anti-gravity. 
So uh, comment below, let me know what you think, which of the three is the real future for aviation. And all three of these technologies are technologies which are environmental friendly. Um, and uh, apparently the anti-gravity thing is also super fast as well. So that's all from me. So check the video here on the TR3B. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to BizJet TV, I encourage you to subscribe to this channel and give us a thumbs up. And that's all from me on this episode of BizJet TV. And I'll see you on the next one.